My name is Pia Trashel. I work for Plan International Australia. Plan is a child rights agency, and so I work on uh, child-centred climate change adaptation projects. I think one of the most interesting challenges was how we measure or how we make our projects valuable, uh, how we ensure we reach the most vulnerable groups in a context in which uh, cost-benefit analysis is increasingly important. So it can be very expensive to reach the most vulnerable people who are, live far, far away, uh, working with disability groups, uh, working with ethnic minorities who so have issues of translation and so on. So all of these things cost money. And if we're only looking at dollar per beneficiary, then it can be difficult to argue in favour of working with the most vulnerable. And what's important in that context is to try and get decision makers and donors to see the value of working with the most vulnerable groups. And that's how we can uh, help to make our work valuable in a cost-constrained world. So I think the most interesting question in this session was about how we can ensure inclusion of the most vulnerable groups without taking them away from their existing commitments. So uh, women often have a lot of obligations or duties in the home or in the field or in their community and development practitioners come in at, at times that suit them and don't, don't take account of that. And similarly with children, how can we ensure that we're hearing the voice of young people and of children without taking them out of school and making sure that we're making sure that their voices are heard. I think the area with the least agreement, or the, the area that created the most uh, dynamism and, and discussion within the session was about how we can uh, look at including vulnerable groups, women, people with disability, ethnic minorities and children in the existing power structures that exist, so uh, in the context of their cultural constraints. and. What we don't want to be doing is to go in and to just rip a community's culture out from under them. But uh, sometimes it's those existing paradigms that force people, you know, that, that, that mean that people are, are certain vulnerable groups are more vulnerable than others. So how do we resolve that issue of uh, raising certain groups up without taking power away from people at the top? And that created some interesting discussion and, and challenges in the group. It was great. I think the key lesson learned was that we need to include vulnerable group at the outset of a project design to ensure that their needs and uh, their strengths are included from the beginning of the project, but then to ensure that they continue to be included through project implementation and then still through to monitoring and evaluation. Uh, all, at all stages of the project design, we need to ensure that the voices of uh, the most vulnerable are being heard.